in what you would assume, like you would assume that she would have ran off for like some sexy lingerie or some shit. But no, not this girl. She came back in a- It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Eat good, live well, stay true. What up, y'all? Back with another one today. To be honest, this is one of my faves. On like, this is a top three meal. I just love very like Americanized, like Westernized tacos. Like, we're not talking authentic, like you know, carne asada and all those words. We're talking like imitation Taco Bell. Uh, however, I will say this: the homemade imitation Taco Bell tacos are good. There's just some sort of magic in Taco Bell that I just. I personally can't recreate. I'm certain it's whatever flavoring they use in the, their beef, if that's even beef. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's because it's not really even truly beef. Maybe it's like ground up other weird stuff. So maybe it's that meat. I don't know. But like, I just, just something about it. It's just a little too delicious. You know what I'm saying? I was debating. I'm like, do I want to have it all preset and just crush? Or do I want to like kind of bob the build of the situation and have you guys kind of like see it all to come together to see the ingredients? And so I decided to go with the latter because I don't know. I think it would be the fun little adventure just to like build some tacos and taco about a hookup story. I got like this like tunnel vision. I feel like I'm trapped by like toppings. Topping trap, I'm in, I'm in the topping trap. The beef is actually right here in this bowl, if you could see it, but I'm gonna be all up in your mouth, basically taking beef out of your face and putting it in tacos here. So let's get to building a taco. I'm locked and loaded with like 10 deep. Like I told you, I'm gonna be all up in your face with this beef. I may be regretting this decision, to be honest right now, because it seems like it's like gonna be rather difficult. So I go in beef first, sour cream. I'm gonna go maybe some tomatoes in that, cheese. It's crazy how much I can't fit in this taco, to be honest. I'm just gonna have to face the fact that there's gonna be like weird scraps everywhere the whole time. So whatever it is, what it is. I'm gonna essentially, at the end of this, have like a taco salad pushed off to the side. Got this pack of hot sauce. I just got like this old El Paso like kit. That's a single taco. Didn't take too long to build. Just getting a bit sloppy is all. Okay, before I take a bite of this, shout out to everybody who's fucking with the song I just dropped. Somewhere, if you haven't listened to it, please go listen to it. I'm getting mad love on it. It's getting dope response. Just, you know, spread it around. Play it at your work. Play it around friends. Play it uh, in your car with the windows down as loud as you want. Play it at parties. Play it in bed alone and cry. I don't know. Just play it a lot and wherever you can and loud, okay? So, cheers. So, <laughs> so good. Wow. It's actually, it's rivaling Taco Bell. It's technically better due to the fact that the ingredients are just, are better. But anybody who knows the magic of Taco Bell, there is just a certain little magic that it has. Because if you know, you know. So delicious. Taco one down. Okay, so this is a hookup story that it's gonna lend. I had another video called like what women want or whatever. And I wasn't, you know, trying to be like some almighty preachy guy where I knew exactly what all women want. Cause like it's, just, you know, whatever. But there's a general rule to, to kind of cruise by with just girls and like you know just trying to like you know be likable to girls and get with girls and stuff and there's sort of just a there are some kind of rules to the game a little bit but anyways this hookup story is just very much like lends to the idea of what i was talking about in that video so if you haven't checked that video out go check that out as well if you're intrigued at all but it's essentially being 
one of the main points that I make in the video is that a lot of times with with girls and that you just want to be very like free spirited and fun and not like trying to entertain them or whatever just like be ha having a good time entertain yourself just like be be the party be putting out good energy be putting putting out good vibes like try to be a little bit witty funny just like be good energy and like have confidence that's going to do a whole lot for you also spontaneity is is great for that as well so this hookup story like is very spontaneous i was completely spontaneous in this moment but after i drizzle this beautiful sauce i love taco sauce so much so so good some people put salsa i just have to have taco sauce there you go one more time we're gonna celebrate oh yeah all right don't stop the taco So yeah, so, okay, a couple years back, I used to work at this restaurant. And across the street from it was my, like, local drinking spot. Everybody from my work because my work was done by 11, we'd be out by 12. The bar across the street was open for two hours. We would always go over there. Just There would always be somebody on shift who's down to go for some drinks after uh, until close and then whatever. And uh, <clears throat> knew the bartenders over there. The drinks were cheap. Just perfect place to go have some drinks once we're done off work. It's a summer night, but it's like a Wednesday, you know. Sometimes the weekend, the energy of the weekend lends itself to the to the possibility of getting a random hookup just better, just because like sometimes like you know people go out in that mode like they're they're it's like it's the weekend, fuck it, I'm gonna fuck somebody or like I'm just in that mood or like I'm I, I'm I'm down, I have nothing to do tomorrow, I can just be hungover. And uh, they're just existing in that state. But this is on a Wednesday night. Like, no one's really, you know, trying to get all crazy on it and whatever. So so we go over, me and my coworkers have drinks. As somebody who works in a restaurant, my, like, after work, I can go out and get obliterated. And then even if I work tomorrow, I'm not in till like 6 p.m. So it's like I can get drunk as fuck. Go out, have a night that's like a week and night. And still get enough sleep to where I come back to work at like, you know, 5, 6 p.m. It's all gravy, baby. Like it's just that's the way of the that's the way of the life as, of a server bartender to promote. Like, you know, not for everybody. Some people are responsible adults and don't do that, but... I certainly wasn't, and uh, I was down to drink a lot on Wednesday. So, anyways, obviously, like, I'm there. I get fucking faded, like, I'm lit, like, it's all good. That's just kind of how I do. And um, it's coming to the end of the night. Past last call, it's like two o'clock. The people that I was with from work drinking, none of them wanted to like continue. They were all just like, whatever, like I gotta be out. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna like make sure I get, cause I live so far away that I had to make sure that I was able to get this like, this like late night bus at a certain time. Otherwise like getting home was like a $40 cab ride. So I wasn't trying to have that. So like I dip off, like cause we were sitting on a patio So I leave the patio, 
to get to the bus where I'm going, the stop is like across the street and then across the street. So it's like, I'm talking like 150 meters away. Like it's not far. And so as I'm crossing the street and I'm drunk and I'm like in my head, like and this is the thing when I'm drunk, I'm like, sure, I'm going home. But the only reason I really want, went home or was like, I'm going to go home is because everybody else didn't want to continue to do anything after. But in that mode, I was like, I'm down for whatever, if anything comes my way. And sure enough, coming my way as I'm crossing the street I hear all this like girl ruckus like and you guys know what girl ruckus sounds like when they're drunk it's a lot of high-pitched frequency giggling screaming type behavior so they were I was plenty aware that they were coming so I got three girls on approach they're attractive, having a good ass time. I'm drunk. They had like some tall cans in their hands. They're just, you know, stumbling up. I don't personally remember what I said or how or whatever, but I engaged with them. Like I just cracked like a joke or whatever. And they immediately were like, eh, and like, and then we just started like chatting and I just started like shooting the shit with them. And then they're like, do you want like some some of the beer, this, this like beer and stuff? And like, so I like, I, I like, I'm like, sure. Like, I crush a bit of the tall can, and then I'm like, I'm like, what are you guys up to? Like, where are you going? Like, what's up? You guys seem like you're just having like a great ass time. What are you guys doing? And uh, they're like, they're like, we're literally just on our way to like right there, and they point, and they're like, the bus stop where I was going to be standing is where they're going because the girl, one of the girls, she was living in the house right there. They're like, uh, we're going to her house to uh, to to make ruckus and be loud and annoying because she's moving out tomorrow and uh, she hates her roommate. She wants to send her off with one last fucking loud, shitty, like annoying, drunk people night, like kind of thing. Like I guess her and her roommate had some beef and shit, and then she was like, she's had to move out and whatever. So she had her all, all her shit packed and everything, and she just was like, I don't know, I'm just getting drunk. And, and I kind of just want to piss my roommate off one last time. And I was like, really, that's hilarious. Like you, that's, you know, you're kind of an asshole, but like, I don't know, like I've been in those situations, like I fuck with you. What's up? And she's like, yeah, like, do you, do you guys, do you want to come over? Like, like I got alcohol and shit. We, we could just drink and you're just an, one more person to help me be loud. And I was like, why not? Like I am super down. So we literally walk another like, you know, 50 meters and go into the house. Sure enough, all our shit's boxed up and everything. It's just us three. I guess her roommate was like upstairs and stuff. So now it's just me and three random girls, which they're all pretty much like attractive. Like, so I'm like, whatever. So we're just being young, drunk, and stupid and pouring up drinks and out on our patio, like had some smokes and whatever. We're joking, flirting, all this stuff. Uh, at one point, for some reason, she had like a full blown like wolf mask. And I remember that was a whole thing was that wolf mask like just came out and like we were all just e each wearing it and like being so stupid. We're taking like all these like pictures with the wolf mask on. And then I had my eye on this one girl in specific, obviously like out of the three, you're going to pick one. Right. And then, so 
Um, I was kind of making it more obvious that, you know, she's kind of like the one I was feeling and she was reciprocating as well. So I liked where it was going. At some point we actually took, she had the wolf mask on and she did like this, like she was like kissing me in the wolf mask and I was making this dumb face and like we took a selfie and shit. It's actually up on my Instagram, like way back in my feed, like from a couple of years ago. So if you go to my Instagram, Hoodie Noir, I think it's linked down in my description. You could you could find that picture. Uh, so anyways, that's happening. At a certain point, I feel like the other girls were actually getting sort of the vibe. Like it was, you know, it was becoming late and then they were getting the vibe that her and I were having like a, like a hookup vibe. So her friends, I think as like good girlfriends do, they kind of excused themselves from the situation. And so at this point, me and her ended up out front of the, uh, like uh, the, of the house. Cause I said like, I'm, a, I'm like, I don't know, maybe I have to go home, like, you know, we gotta go home or I gotta go home. And uh, she's like, yeah, I have to go home too. And uh, so we went out front and then we were sitting down on the curb and you know, we we're having some more smokes and just kind of talk, talking at this point, just like uh, just us two, like just less ruckus and just kind of more getting to know each other more, more than just having like, you know, whatever type random fun. And uh, I was actually telling her, like, I, I kind of, I have this drunk tendency to when I'm drunk, like when people ask me about what it is that I do or what, you know, what I, what's my thing in life, like what are, what am I into? I always say like music and stuff and I'm just going to tell you like I have some like verses that are kind of like spoken wordy uh, and they work every time with girls like <laughs> I just I do it and then it's kind of it's, people are always really impressed by it and then especially girls because they're like wow that was like really actually good and like uh, like it shows like an intelligence and like emotional like you're you know you're emotional and, like, uh, and so I did that and she was like all just like enamored by me at this point so she's just like she's like ah uh, well uh like do you want to kind of still hang out and I was like yeah like I'm down for sure let's hang out and I was like but my house is like fucking hella far And she's like, well, my condo is, you know, it's like a I don't know, 10 or $15 cab ride, like not that far, just downtown. Because we were kind of in the West End. She's like, you can come over to my place. I remember specifically her saying, and this was like so funny to me. She goes, you can come over to my condo. And continue and we can continue to hang out but she and she goes but you're not gonna fuck me <laughs> and in my head i was like yes i am <laughs> like you you're inviting me to your condo at like five in the morning and you're telling me outright that i'm not going to fuck you it's like that right there is just indication that you're probably gonna f fuck them but anyway <laughs> so my response to her was yeah, no, obviously not. Like, I'm just down to come hang out and chill. And, like, that's all good. Like, I, I don't... Whatever happens, happens. Like, it doesn't... Nothing has to happen. We can just hang out. I'm enjoying your company. And whatever. So we grab a cab, go to her condo. And this is the funniest part about the fact that she said you're not, like, her saying you're not going to fuck me. is because she took, once it started, once we started, like, making out, we're fooling around. She, the one who's not supposed to be getting fucked, took it, took it to a new level. And here's the level that she took it to. Something I had never experienced even before or after even. It was rather, it was both strange, hilarious, and kind of hot.
So we're hooking up. You know, clothes are coming off. All this stuff's happening. And mid that, she goes, she just gets up, stops. She's like, hold on a minute. Jumps on her bed, runs over to like her like nightstand thing, opens a drawer, pulls something out, but hides it, runs into the bathroom. And I'm just laying there like, okay, well, this should be interesting. We At this point, we still had like full lights on and everything. Like it was never dark. I don't know why that really matters, but it, I don't know. I just think it kind of does because she came back out of the bathroom <laughs> in what you would assume, like you would assume that she would have ran off for like some sexy lingerie or some shit. But no, not this girl. She came back in a onesie, like pajama onesie with a butt flap that you could undo to, you know, because th those are in onesies to, to relieve yourself in the middle of the night so you don't have to take off the entire onesie. <laughs> Her butt flap was not no longer buttoned up. It was, she had the onesie on, uh, but the flap was completely down and open. And then she proceeded to, uh, to get into position, let's say, and uh, requested that I... Uh, Continue forward, we'll just say. Straightforward. Just, just, just continue, you know? So I continued. And then we continued for, a, you know, a while longer. And then eventually both passed out. So yeah, I onesie flapped, never saw it coming. Wasn't even ever a thought in my mind. Didn't think that was ever a thing, but turns out it's a thing. At least a one wild girl it was. Woke up in the morning. Well, at this point, it was, you know, mid-afternoon because we both, uh, like, we went to sleep so late and she didn't have to do anything the next day. She was pretty young. She had, like, that, like, parent hookup, like... Parents were paying for a condo, and I think she was, like, doing school. And then she had, like, like a job in, like, retail at, like, a clothing store or whatever. Maybe a onesie store. I don't know. Probably where she got it. Um, we went our separate ways. And I never saw a onesie again. It was a onesie time thing. Which I'm fine with. It was a great fun time. And so that's what I'm saying to dudes out there or whatever. Is like... Sometimes you just gotta not overthink shit. Go with the flow. Have fun. Be open to opportunities. Be spontaneous. Be open to experience things. And life gets fun and will throw you some shit, man. Like, I just know for sure with, 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 with girls, they just enjoy a good, fun, spontaneous, you know, kind of vibe. Like, it's just, it's a good time. Everybody does, though. You know, life's just better that way, I, I think. So that's one of my, probably one of my most, more interesting hookup stories really ever, to be honest, because I don't know, there's just something about the butt flap of a onesie that really, just hilarious to me. I just could never have expected her to come out of the bathroom in that. I was thinking maybe something like sexy, but 
that wasn't the case. I don't know how many I've eaten so far. Actually, I should know because I think this is my fifth. I could probably eat all 10 of these right now, but for some reason, they're just not phasing me. They're so delicious too. I'm, I'm assuming this video is pretty long at this point though. So after this one, I'm going to wrap it up. So delicious. Mm. Amazing. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Like I'm saying, just kind of go for it, man. Like sometimes just be, just be, rid be ridiculous. Like just be, do whatever. Just spontaneity, fun, confident, shit like that. Till the next one. Eat good, live well, stay true to your butt flap onesies. <laughs>